In this video, we're going to talk a bit about how to initialize different curve types in the curve editor. So let's go ahead and pick edit curve from the drop down menu here. And to be fair, OpenVSP knows that that was an ellipse. It needs to be reparameterized as a circle. So it initialized it for you. This is basically like converting to C edit. But let's go ahead and click init shape anyway. So notice that it didn't really change because the width and the height here are still our scale factors on these coordinates. So if we look in absolute coordinates here, you'll notice that our left and right sides are at about, say, 1.125 or 1.25. And the total width here is 2.5. The height is 3. So if we want to set the width so that this is actually a circle, these need to be equal. That's all. So when we have an initialization of a cubic bezier, we've got our four different control points. We can turn off right and left symmetry if we want to so that we have access to each of these. But for now, let's leave it on. And a cubic bezier is going to give you your control points here in black and your individual tangencies and your slopes and what have you and these green shapes. So you can start to come in and manipulate those, but a circle is the initialization of that curve type. If we look at the second one as an ellipse, again, this isn't really an ellipse. This is just initialize something that looks like an ellipse with a p-chip spline. So if you look very closely here, you can see that there is a little bit of ringing of this curve as it tries to fit through these points. Because a, a spline is not necessarily going to be a perfect fit of constant radius to something like a circle. Um, so you can come in and you can start to manipulate these if you want, and you just see the behavior of the p-chip spline as it passes through the points. And so it just gives you a place to begin where you can start to manipulate your, your curve and your background into something that is manageable or what you want. And finally, as you might guess, a rectangle is going to initialize uh, a linear type. And so each of these points that we've defined here in the plot are connected by a straight line. So if I come in and I start to manipulate these, you can see that all this is doing is just putting corners on the model itself. And so, you know, this all works out just fine. Now you can in fact convert between any of these. If I come in and say, I want this in fact to be a P-chip, I can convert that. The control points didn't move at all. And so it just changes the way that the line follows through these points. If I decide that I want this to be a cubic bezier instead and convert, notice that now the curve itself doesn't change and OpenVSP has figured out what all those little tangencies and strengths need to be to exactly recreate that shape. And so converting between types is still a, a very powerful tool as well. So that's how you can initialize the different curve types in the OpenVSP curve editor.